So this is the sample card and these papers are bright bouquet. So this is from Antonio Makes. So if you use my code Louise10, you can go and get yourself 10% off over there. Um, this is actually a, a quite an old pack, but it's still on his um, website because I think it was quite a popular pack. And I get why, because it's, it's beautiful. So this is a card shape. I've called it a pop out gatefold card. I can't remember what it was originally called, something like an up, down, up, out, something. I'm not quite sure what it was called, but I didn't understand the name, so I changed the name. Um, but I originally saw Shrishti Patel do it, and she has some fantastic makes on there. So, yeah, go and check her out. The die on the front is an In Love Art Shop die. So, again, make sure you use my code Iced Images, all in one word, and that will get you 20% off on In Love Art Shop. All the codes and everything's all down in the description below. And then all you do is when you open it up, you have, it kind of pops up. Now I've realized, cause I, I, the one that Shristi did was the size wasn't the sort of size I would do. So this kind of doesn't open any further than that. And I've realized now my mistake. So I'm going to be doing a six by six variation on this. Um, and I've managed to combat the problem. So obviously that only opens up so far, but I quite like it cause it stands up quite nicely. I like the fact that it's attached. So I'm holding on to these bits, but it's actually attached to the sides. Um, and so, yeah, so I've managed to come up with a different idea than that. So this is the card we're doing today. Um, inside here, I've only put a tiny bit of space for your message. If you wanted to, you could put a pattern there and then you can write on the back. So it's really up to you what you want to do. And then it folds down like that and it will fit flat in an envelope for a five by seven card. So yeah, so that's the card for today. It's quite a nice one because you don't need mats. You can just do pattern and a base, which saves a lot of hassle. If you want to mat it, you can just be careful because it will get very chunky. So I've used really thin card on this and actually probably a bit too thin. Um, the one I'm doing today is a little bit thicker. I reckon you probably need about a 200 GSM for the base. You don't want to go too thick because you've got a lot stacked up. Like here, on this bit here, you've got like one, two, three, four, five layers just for that centerpiece, plus these, so six, and then that seven. So you've effectively got seven layers of card before you've even added your greeting on the front. So just bear that in mind, okay? So make sure you don't go too thick. Um, and obviously then you've also got your patterns as well. So yeah, definitely don't go too thick. So with this one, I've decided to go with two different base base um, base card colours. So I've gone for a purple for the main base and then a pink for the pop up -y bit. Right, so on the 7x11, you're going to score at half an inch, at three inches, at eight inches, and at ten and a half inches okay and that is all you need to worry about on that one then we're going to bring this piece in and this is three by eleven and a quarter and we're going to score at two and a quarter at four and a half six and three quarters and at nine okay so it's basically every two and a quarter and you have five equal panels if you're good at working out your own card sizes, that's what you need to know. So we're going to go mountain, valley, valley, mountain. And it's good as well not to go too thick because one bit kind of folds into the other. So you'll see in a minute what I mean. OK, so here, for example, if I fold that like that, this one is going over the top. And then like that. So as you can see, I've got a bit of bowing going on. So I'm going to see if it goes, if it works better the other way. Mm, still got bowing going on. So I'm going to fold it up like that and then just re-burnish just so it knows which way it's got to be. So it's going to be that way around like that. And it needs to stay that way around now. And I'm going to have this bit on the left. So this opens first and then that bit. Okay, so you have to make sure that, that that's what happens like that. Right, so then let's bring our other piece in, which is our main piece. Now, this one, we want to do a normal gatefold card. So we're going to fold these main folds in half, and then your little half-inch piece at the front here, we're going to cut in a bit. Um, before we cut, 
kind of best to sort of start sticking things together. Um, right, and then these tab sections here need to be mountain. So effectively, you've got mountain, valley, valley, mountain. So basically the same as what you've got on your other one. And because they're only half inch tabs and the card's quite thin, I am doing it like this. So I'm putting the tab section against my desk like that and then kind of using my fingers just to support the card so I fold it over and that way I don't end up with a dodgy because sometimes when you only got like half an inch to fold it can go a bit wonky and you can end up with a bit squiffy so I find this is the best way of sorting it out so you should end up with that so then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our pattern pieces here and here and then one in the middle so for the front i decided to go for the little eggs so you need two pieces in total you're going to need four but for the front i've just got two that are two and a quarter by six and three quarters so they're going to go on there like that so i'm going to go ahead and do these Right, okay, so that's that, and then I'm going to open this up, and then on the inside we need two more of the same, si same size paper. So two more pieces that are two and a quarter by six and three quarter, and then you want one in the middle that's four and three quarter by six and three quarter. Right, so there we go. So that's that stuck down. So then what we're going to do is put this to one side and bring in the piece we just did with the folds. And on this, you're going to need, in total, four pieces of pattern paper that are two inches by two and three quarter inches. And you're going to need one piece of white that's two by two and three quarter. Now, if you want, if you're not going to do your white piece there, you can do it on the back. Then obviously you need a bigger piece and this would need to be a pattern piece. But I'm doing a little white piece there going to be a tiny message that I write um, and then I've got some eggs and I've got some stripes and then we're going to take this one here and I'm going to fold it up the way I want it to be folded on the card, so like that. So I'm putting this bit in first and then that bit in there. And then this needs to go bang slap in the middle. So we're going to stick this on. It needs to be nice and central left and right and central top and bottom. If anything, a bigger gap at the bottom than at the top slightly. Um, yeah, so with it folded up, I'm just going to put some glue on the back. Now, I definitely prefer to use uh, a wet glue for this because it gives you a bit of wiggle time. Okay, so then what we're going to do is, obviously um, at the moment it's like this, I'm just going to open that flap there, the top flap, fold this in and pull that back, and then what we need to do is where this, the top of this card is, I'm just going to draw a little pencil line on my flap, just slightly down from it, okay, just slightly in, so it's not in line, it's just slightly down, so this is my flap here. So I'm just coming, this is the edge of my card, just coming down like about an eighth, draw a little line, come in eighth, draw a little line. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, open that up, I'm going to pull this open here, and then this flap, do the same again. So you're going to open that up, remember this is the wrong side, so the side you're not really going to see. I'm going to pull this side over, fold that flap back, and again, draw a little pencil line just on here roughly so I can see where it's going to be okay so then once we've done that let me put the glue back the glue the top back on my glue i'm going to bring my cutting mat in like this and then get a metal rule and a stanley knife and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut down this um i don't know if you can see my little my lines there let me just make them in pen because you're not going to see them and i'm going to cut them off in a minute so that's my little line there. So I'm cutting to the left hand side. So I actually cut the score line off. I'm nudging my ruler right up against that score line. So I'm really not losing any of my card. You know, I'm not losing any of this panel. And I'm going to cut down from the top until I get to that line going across. 
and then I'm going to cut from that line down to the bottom like that and then I'm just going to get a pair of scissors and come in and just cut just inside of that biro line that I've just done like that so we're basically making a tab if you want to notch it you can but you don't really need to so I just do it square so you end up with that and so we're going to repeat that same process on the other side so I'm just going to turn it round okay and the eggs are the right way up it's good it needs to be folded that way around okay so then what we're going to do is open this side up like that and then this bit here because this is the second one to go in I'm just going to fold that open so that's the full extent okay so I'm just going to fold that over to open it up bring this flap over this panel bring this flap this little tab back and then we're going to put you can either put red tape or wet glue now I'm going to use red tape just so it's stuck straight away and then I haven't got to worry about is it sticking is it not so I'm just going to red tape it um, I could do another little bit next to it but I'm not going to I'm just going to leave it with the one and then so that's all sticky what we need to do that's still folded back we're going to take this one fold it right back on there and just press it down and then with that where it is we're going to fold this back over and open that up bring this over fold that back and I am going to put wet glue on this just so it's easier to um just so it's easier to stick it down you can use either wet glue or red tape doesn't really matter like that and then we're just going to fold that down like that fold that flat back and then this you just fold it over and stick it down now because i've got wet wet glue i'm just going to hold it for a second okay and then i'll tell you about my greeting so this was actually a die from last year from last easter from coco rosa studio but coco rosa studio still have this in in their website in their yeah on their website so i've put a link down below for it don't forget to use my code iced20 which will get 20 percent off it's a very cute little happy easter die and i think originally i cut it out of silver and i cut it out of pink and so then i just mixed and matched so i had the main pink with the silver letters and then the other one was the main silver with the pink letters and then i just um laid with the die laid down I just kind of roughly drew around the outside of the die, cut it out, um, and because I'd used it on, um, uh, I'd done a self adhesive sheet on it, so all of that edge there that you can see that's silver was sticky, and then I just went in with some silver foiling flakes, put them on, rubbed them in, and then just rubbed off the excess. So that's going to go on the front. So I'm going to lose quite a bit of that on the front there, but it doesn't matter. So he's going to go on the front, probably like that, I think. Yeah, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick him down. Fabulous. There you go. And there is your card. So when you open it up, I'm going to be careful because if I touch him, he's going to, you know. <laughs> so you open that up, open it up, and then you've got that there. So if you wanted to, you could almost treat it like a mini album. You could put like pictures in here, which would be quite cool. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit you could do with it, to be fair. Um, you could also obviously change up the size of this if you want to. So yeah, so that is the card for today. So I hope you enjoyed it. A bit of a close-up for you. A close -up. I love that bunny die. So cute. Um, thank you very much, everybody. Yep, we'll see you all next time.